sea run cutthroat flies. This is a traditional pattern called a Pete's Special. Size 6, 36.71. Daiichi makes a nice hook about the same. 15.60, I believe, is the traditional wet okay. fly hook. Okay. Excellent hook. Excellent hook. I, li I love the low barbs. It's nice, aesthetic curve. Tail is American Saddle Clump. Hot orange. These traditional sea run cutthroat flies are they're they're fun. They're fun. Nice bushy body. Now, if you look in Les Johnson's book, I don't think you see a fly that's you don't see many flies that come I don't remember a fly that combines a chartreuse with a hot flow orange. This pattern does. And it's um I would consider this a murky water sea run cutthroat fly and the butt is maybe a third i mean it's a bright fly are you gonna fish this deep no gonna, i don't, I don't, don't fish any of now now um so if one were to fish a rooster tail All right or a crawdad tail and it's a whole different ball of wax to talk about where you fish first. I, when I fly fish sea runs, I'm fishing edge water around ledges and drop-offs and structure like logs. And I want to see my fly. So all you want to see the take, and, and this I really helps. I want to see the take. Yeah, I can, this is a bright fly. And seeing that take um, is a huge thrill. So, I'm going back to my American Saddle Clump, and I'm going to grab a, uh, grab a feather. I'm looking for good width, nice web, go right down to the base of this. Yeah, so, so if you put on a full sinking line and fished a standard old woolly bugger or something like that, or an egg sucking leash, chuck it out in the pool and let it sink down five, six feet. There's probably sea runs that live out there. Guys that fish worms and crawdad tails catch them. But it's not nearly as much fun as fishing a fly up there. It could be right on the surface. It could be six inches deep, a foot deep, a couple feet deep. Once you get about three feet deep, you're going to have a real hard time seeing your fly on your retrieve, and you may see a flash. If you can't see a fly, but you can see a flash, set the hook, because the fish has either taken your fly or come so close to it that you better find out. So again, I, I choose, in the traditional series, I choose the female coachman for clearish water, and I choose the peat special when it is quite a bit murked up. So I got a pretty good chunk there. Pull out more of that uh, under fur. Arctic Fox is so easy to work with. It's just delightful. We're going to tie some bait fish patterns with bucktail pretty soon. but It's nice off the tail, too, though. I mean, oh. it makes a difference off the tail. You can control your length. Oh, yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Nicely. Don't need to stack it. Measure it. Yep. It's just about right. Measuring it back to the tail, back to the bend. Where's uh, that going? A little bit past the bend. Okay. A little bit past the bend. A lot of the flies you'll see in Les Johnson's book are shorter than this. I, I like a little bit longer, a little bit more authoritative. How's that for a word? A slightly more authoritative wing. Now, if I had been with it, I would have extended my body just a sixteenth of an inch further to make that head on that fly just a little bit shorter. But here's how they look. That'll fish really nice. There you go. Pete's special. <laughs>